Hello vegan adventurers, welcome to another vlog from Chile. So this is the second day in Punta Arenas and we are walking again along the coast, but this time different direction. And it's colder than yesterday, so we are wearing more jackets. So we're just gonna explore this coast. And after we're gonna show you the second day where we're gonna go to local cemetery. So this area was interesting for observing the seabirds. So here we are walking by the main road and on the right side you can see these big concrete cubes and I think they're using it to block the waves uh, so they don't uh, wash away the road. So here in the distance you can see the peninsula which is called Tierra del Fuego and this peninsula is not connected to the rest of South America and it's divided on Argentinian and Chilean side pretty much half half and Argentinian side is the famous Ushuaia town where we're gonna go later and a Chilean side uh, has a town called Porvenir Now we got to another pier and I don't think we can get up on it, it seems. There is some rope, but the thing is finishing here and you can't get past this point because there is a, a port after that. So I guess we'll just have to go back from now on. So I managed to get up on this pier and from that side where Sanya is going uh, thanks to those rubber tanks and the rope and there are some more cormorants up here and as you can see they are marking their uh, territory kind of with, um, with their poop, the, all the white I think I was reading it's their territory so if you get closer they'll start going around you and and pretty much start attacking you if you get into the territory.
here I wanted to try some parkour to run along the wall and then jump down but the first jump is the most difficult because you don't know how it's gonna be and you have this uh, mental fear of that you're gonna um, fall hard or something like that so I got scared and I tried it from the other side first from the lower height and of course after I jumped this one it was like nothing so that boosts your confidence so much more and the, for the second try I didn't even hesitate when I was jumping it. And this time I want to do the full sequence of climbing up, running along the wall and jumping down. So check it out, Parkour Vegan 101. Okay, so this is the day after, we went to Punta Arena Cemetery, so it was raining all day and cold, so we just went for a little walk in the afternoon, and the cemetery is pretty big, and lots of influential people are buried here. So Sanya noticed a Serbian name, Kusanovic, on one of the tombs and as we are reading they're somewhere from Yugoslavia. And here is another tomb with the name Croatian Help Team. So you can see the people from Yugoslavia were immigrating here. So after the cemetery we went walking a little bit more even though it was raining and cold as we, as we preferred to be outside rather than inside and we met this uh, friendly black dog so there are many street dogs in Punta Arenas and some of them are not so friendly and we're even scared of them but this one was really friendly and was even following us. So it's funny how friendly dogs can be and they would follow you even they know that you can't give them any food or anything they just want uh, your companion uh, like this dog he was probably lonely here and we got a nice view of Punta Arenas as well as we got up to this little hill So Punta Arena seems like a city where I would not like to live in, there is uh, nothing interesting to see and it's uh, cold and cloudy most of the year and this is pretty much the middle of summer and look how, how cold and rainy it is, even in Slovakia it's sometimes cloudy but it's at least warm and here it just stays cold most of the year and there are not even that many hikes around, we're gonna explore actually some hikes tomorrow and we're also gonna see the penguins but other than that I would, I would not know what to do here most of the time Ah! 
so most tourists who come to Punta Arenas are mostly going to Puerto Natales from where you can go to Torres del Paine which is the most famous for hiking in Chilean Patagonia so this dog was following us more but obviously we couldn't take him home as we have rented Airbnb and I hope you enjoyed this short vlog there is more exciting vlogs to come like uh, observing penguins on Isla Magdalena and more interesting hikes so stay tuned for those and for now stay healthy and stay adventurous